Y'all know I just got my truck washed the other day. Look at it. Cowboy up today. Anytime I put these on, I'm probably about to do some ass kicking. Ass kicking or working in the mud. One of the two. Hey, right, remember I talked about this earlier. We are boy brothers. I've been running out the meal with my last three loads. Now, now I gotta pick up the boy brothers. Hey, take the first step to owning your truck. Fast track to truck ownership. 800-543-8923. If you wanna work for board, like my buddy Mark. There you go. There to get as it is. Screenshot it. Get the number. Get started, the boy brothers. Hey, I just asked the guy in the office about boy brothers shutting down. He said no. So that's a rumor. tell y'all something crazy yeah that what i was just talking about about boy shutting down it's been a lot of people saying boy brothers was shutting down the terminal right here probably never told y'all about it but you know how it is on social media once people get to talking it was funny because when i just asked the guy he was like you're the third person to ask me that and i said yeah man a lot of a lot of people been saying it so he just told me, this terminal is not shutting down. All this damn mud out here. I've been staying at the Loves past two nights. Loves in Franklin, Virginia. Since I've been doing this dedicated this week. So uh, I've been keeping my floor clean. I just cleaned my floor real good last night. Now, it's messed up now. It's been raining all day. Yeah, I got loaded at the steel mill right down the road at the mill. I got loaded there twice already. So this is my third time back today. Now I'm getting loaded at Boyd. But I tell you what, Boyd is better than getting loaded at Cofield. Cause, no, well, this whole city is Cofield, but I meant to say TSH. Right over there at TSH, because they're slow. Over here, they're pretty quick. I got another PNS truck beside me, a blue PNS truck. So he's in front of me and I'm next. Let's take a look at this truck. Look at that PNS truck. Not sure what kind of truck it is. Yeah, cause, uh, hey, I don't know these damn trucks. I know I got a freight line, I know that. I don't know what kind of truck that is. Hey, maybe y'all super truckers, y'all know. I can admit I don't know. That's the thing about me. If I don't know something, I will admit it that I don't know it. I'll tell you what, let me show you something. Look what we got pulling up. I know what that is. That's an old Cascadia. Look at all that mud out here. So you can imagine. Look at my floor. Look at my Crocs. Look at this floor. It's gonna get worse. Oh, there's that refrigerator. Let me show y'all the refrigerator. Pretty good. It's on what 32 right now? 37? Oh, let me get out. Just gave that guy my paperwork, so I guess he's going to get the bundles now. Yeah, we'll get out and get ready. Hey, I'll tell you what, I figured out a routine too. I've been keeping my dunage, keeping my dunage on the trailer. Keep it on the trailer, throw straps over after I get empty. You need to put it up. <laughs> After the first load, I put my dunnage up. Then I got back, had to take it right back out. I said, you know what, I'm just gonna leave it on the trailer. I, f I figured out some shortcuts, how to get through these little towns, following the other trucks, all kind of little stuff. But I tell you what, tomorrow is Thursday. I'm coming up out of here tomorrow. 
that's gonna be it. I'm gonna tell my dispatcher, hey, I'm going. I gotta get back on 95. Had enough of the backwoods for the week. I gotta get back on 95 tomorrow. That's it for me. All right, let me uh, chill till this guy come back. Just got finished eating. I got a TV right above my head. Look at this lobby. It's seven o'clock. <laughs> they already got all, they got all the chairs stacked up. That's that inflation for you. Don't nobody want to work. And we got just the booths where I'm at. One, two, three, four, five booths. The whole dining room closed except for these booths. I already finished eating. This is my third night staying here at the same truck stop in Franklin, Virginia. Third night since I've been doing the dedicated. And I tell you what, I had Bojangles all three nights. The first night, I actually had some leftovers from home, but I bought some chicken tenders to eat with it. Then last night, I had a grilled chicken sandwich. Tonight, I had a two-piece chicken. I'm about to go back to the truck after I take a shower. And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna work on that reaction video. For, when I, for melting truck lines. I'm gonna work on that reaction video tonight. That's what I'm gonna do tonight. Reaction time, reaction. Reaction video time. My first time ever doing one. I don't even know how to do it. I figure it out. It can't be that hard, just editing. Let me go check in for the shower. And yo, I can't do it on the on the app. But I like to walk over there and scope the scene out too before I go over there. If it's like 10 people, I'm gonna have to come back later. So I'm gonna go over there and scope it out first. You can see that on the app too, but I'm still gonna walk over there. Hey, I wanna take a minute to tell y'all about one of my sponsors, Trucker Path. Driving OTR has me moving from destination to destination, but oftentimes I am not sure where to go after and I hate waiting on a low confirmation and then the deadhead times that come with picking up. From my Trucker Path app, I can take advantage of my trip planning by scheduling out backhaul trips in advance. I can input low pickup destination and pull a list of loads sorted by fewest deadhead miles. I can even start the bid book now through the affiliated truck load app and take the guesswork out of my next haul. Download Trucker Path in the Google Play Store or the Android or the iPhone, whatever you call it on the iPhone or the Play Store on Google. Y'all got it. I have my contacts in 
Monday and Tuesday. I fell asleep with them in uh, last night, and they was getting. I, I had the I had the Warner Days in. I got two different kinds. I got the Warner Days, and I got the the kind that you can keep in for a few weeks at a time. But I was wearing the Warner Days because I was using them over the weekend. But I slept in them last night. And my eyes was irritated this morning, so I put my glasses back on. Y'all wondering about these new glasses I got? These are my old ones right here. But look, they only got one stem. The other part, it's over there somewhere, but they broke. Y'all probably never saw me with these on, because I, I wear them at home, but I don't really wear them when I'm in the truck, because summertime, I want to put on my sunglasses. But now, since we're in the winter, I ain't really got to worry about the, got to worry about the sun. <laughs> I mean, sometimes, but it's all good. So yeah, we about to crank this iPad up and get started on this video. Okay, let me give y'all a little backstory on this video. Okay, this is in Birmingham. I forgot the name of the hotel. Wherever wherever they send students at for orientation, that's the hotel that I was in. But I got to that hotel on a Friday, a Friday night. My trainer dropped me off. So I stayed in there the whole weekend up until Monday morning when I went to the terminal. So this is where this is at. This is at the Milton Hotel, whatever one they use in Birmingham. This is it right here. Nice, nice acting skills. I planned all this out too. I planned it all out. I put my cell phone in the sink and recorded that water. Drive for Milton. You see drive for Milton on the, on the mirror. Somebody left some lipstick in the hotel room. It was like in the bathroom, so. When I was thinking of the idea for this video, I was like, okay, let me take the lipstick and like drive for Melton on the video. This, this is when I was all Melton crazy. Like I was so happy to work at Melton. I was like, yeah, drive for Melton. Cause they drive for Melton is actually on the mud flaps and Mel on Melton trailers too. You'll see drive for Melton and it has the phone number. Drive for Melton. Boy, I look rough. I look rough. I needed a haircut. Boy, I look rough. I look rough now, but not as bad as I did right there. Look at this. Look at this product placement. See that love cigarette lighter? Now I'm gonna come back in with the pilot cup. Hey, this was all product placement. I planned all this stuff. Look at this actor. Pilot Cup. Melton. I planned that too. That's my log book. Now, if you see in that video, that little hotel scene where I'm walking through the lobby and walking down the hallway, if you're looking at the video, it makes it seem like, you know, it was Monday morning and I was going to the terminal. I actually recorded those scenes on that Saturday night because I was so bored sitting in the hotel, I decided to come up with the storyline for this video. So here I am now coming to the terminal. If you see me walking up, I'm smoking a cigarette and I got a cup of coffee on my hand. I don't smoke cigarettes anymore, but I still drink a lot of coffee.
see how I got my Instagram name at the bottom up there? Back then, I used to edit on uh, iMovie, and that was some little some little thing. I decided to put it at the bottom. I don't do that anymore. I, if I do do it, I don't use the banner. I just put my YouTube name or Instagram. I don't even put Instagram name, but that Instagram name is the same name I have now. It's still the same. So uh, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram as well. I was sitting outside waiting to get the keys to my truck right here. That's what I'm doing right here. Back right here where I started, Birmingham Terminal, Birmingham, Tulsa, Laredo, back to Tulsa, now back to Birmingham. Today is the day. I'm all ready to get this truck. My editing sucked. I remember this song. I used to use it a lot on my videos. I love this song. I need to find it. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. I gotta get that song. Y'all see those super singles? Oh man, fire hydrant on the back of the truck. I remember when I was out there taking pictures of the truck, one of the other guys was like, you, he was like, you don't take a picture till after you wreck it. <laughs> I was like, all right, man. Uh-oh. Now, I use a lot of cut scenes now. I don't do the fading in between scenes. There you have it, people. Finally got my truck. There you have it. I want to say I'm tired, but I'm really not. But, what time is it? 6.30. I've got to get this truck cleaned up. Just got to finish unpacking all my stuff. Uh, I took the top mattress off the top uh, bunk, put it on the um, on the bottom bunk, so I got two mattresses. I'm not worried about training nobody no time soon. After, after what I just dealt with, I don't know, I ain't got it. I don't, I don't got the patience to ride in this truck with two people. Maybe later on. Still ain't train nobody. Maybe I'll I ain't no trainer. As of right now, nah, I, I can train though. I can like train. I enjoy my little privacy to myself. I don't need nobody cramping on top of me. So I got to go. Cause I'm going to be on top of this thing. Two mattresses on. I mean, I probably not the only one did it. At first, I wasn't going to do it. But I said, damn, fuck it. Ain't nobody riding up there. So, hope y'all like my little video. Maybe I'll be a real director one day. That's about it for tonight. I'm about to eat. Take this trash out. Go on here and take me a shower because I'm still sitting in the yard at the uh, Birmingham terminal. I got to call in in the morning, 7 o'clock. Uh, get myself ready for a load. Uh, but, probably get delayed just a little bit in case if they was to send me a load right back because I just... Uh, did, did my little inspection on everything. I had some bad fuses. Got a couple light, my bad fuses under the hood. Not on nothing serious. Uh, two amber uh, lights at the front on both sides. They're not working. So I, gotta get, I know I got to get that fixed before I, before I leave this trailer. So uh, that's about it, people. I'm about to wrap this one up because I'm ready to eat. I got some chicken tenders and some... Uh, Cheddar broccoli cheddar, pasta. Cheddar pasta. Cheddar pasta. Still Great. eat it. Still eat cheddar Get pasta. Get it from Walmart. Peace. Cheddar hey, broccoli you pasta. Everybody coming through metal, man. I got my truck. It ain't take that long. About a month. About a month long process. So uh, good luck to all the boys in orientation now. All y'all boys still in the hotel this week. Good luck to y'all. Appreciate my man for the pizza today. I was taking that damn uh, Smith system quiz. Hey, that shit was racking my brain. But, uh, Got, got that knocked out, got it out of the way. I just thought about it. He's supposed to give me another log, but hey, all y'all uh, people coming in and uh, you know, doing what comes through Melton, make sure you keep up with your logs, but when you're on the trailer truck, make sure you take care of that log every night. Like, you might go two nights and then catch it up. Make sure you do that log every night because uh, you wait to the last minute. 
and say you don't log nothing while you with that trainer. Bring it back you memories. Turn the logs in when you come back. Uh, only night that I didn't log was like uh, my last two nights. That's because when I got back to the yard, I, I just took a picture of the car car. I was like, man, I'll catch it up on Monday because I ain't feel like being in the truck no more. I already get to the hotel. But uh, make sure y'all do those logs every single night because you do got to turn them in. And if you don't got them complete, they're going to make you sit in the damn lobby and do them. So make sure you, I, I ain't had that problem because I did mine every night. But it took me about, about 15 minutes to go ahead and do them two days sitting in the lobby because... Uh, I don't know how accurate they are with them, but I, I don't know if they, they might want to look up on the system and check exactly where you at on the Qualcomm, just to see if you're lying. So don't even, don't even open that door. Just make sure you do your logs every night. Be safe out there with these trainers. Do what's comfortable for you, even when you're by yourself. Do, hey, work smart. Don't work hard. Don't make the job harder on yourself. Hey, so uh, good luck to everybody. I start my new journey tomorrow as soon as I get this trailer fixed. But I'm out. Peace. One more thing. I forgot to tell y'all. I'm going to let y'all finish that video. That's it right there anyway. Y'all see that positive attitude. Y'all see the positivity that I had from day one. I've always been like that. Good luck to all the all the Melton drivers still in training, man. Good luck. Good mother freaking luck. I only stayed at Melton three months. The first month was training. The second month. I was driving the third month my truck kept breaking down it broke down almost every week the same issue it had an electrical problem that they couldn't get fixed the first time it happened I was going through an inspection station in Pennsylvania I was on I-80 in Pennsylvania I went through the inspection station um, state trooper waved me through as soon as I went through my truck just lost power Boom. all the lights cut off no power didn't even have power steering, no brakes, nothing. Well, I had brakes, but no power steering. Couldn't hardly turn the wheel. But luckily, I was at the inspection station. So I just rolled it to the side, and I was broke down. So good thing it didn't happen while I was actually driving on 80, because it was in the wintertime. And uh, I ended up being stuck in the hotel for like a week. My buddy Eric, uh, he's working... He went to rail. He went to Melton, then he went to rail. I'm not sure where he's at now. He's at some local company. But he ended up picking me up from the hotel and took me to Pittsburgh. And I got a rental car and went home. As soon as I came back from my, it was because it was my birthday, February 1st, my birthday. As soon as I came home, well, as soon as I came back from home to get my truck after it was supposedly fixed, I picked up another load. I, t I was taking it somewhere. I stopped at a Lowe's. Not a Lowe's, a Lowe's, the home improvement store. I stopped there one night. I went inside Lowe's, I walked around. When I came back to my truck, as soon as I opened the door, I knew I knew something was up. Cause when you open the door on the Freightliner, you know the the two lights on the um on the inside, they light up when you open the door. So as soon as I opened the door, lights didn't come on. I was like, OMG. I put my key in the ignition, I turned it, nothing. I said, man. So I ended up getting broke down again. <laughs> got a tow truck, came and got me. Uh, put me in a hotel. Matter of fact, remember how I said my birthday was February 1st? Guess what? I was in the hotel for Valentine's Day, February 14th. Because I remember going to a, um, I went to a uh, Chinese restaurant that had a Valentine's Day special. So I was in there by myself and all the couples was in there enjoying Valentine's. And I was in the hotel for another week. I ended up meeting my buddy Jimmy that I'm still friends with to this day because I was looking at other companies while I was broke down. I was looking at BTC. And BTC, Jimmy used to work at BTC. So I met him off of Facebook asking him questions about BTC. But I, I didn't end up going to BTC because BTC was... It was like they wasn't hiring in my area. I was living in Wilmington, North Carolina at the time. So a lot of people didn't hire from that area because Wilmington, North Carolina is like on the coast. Um, TMC wouldn't hire me. A lot of companies wouldn't hire me. But through BTC, I found out about Hornady. So when I was in the hotel, in o I was in Ohio when I broke down. Yeah, I was in Pennsylvania first time. Made it to Ohio right beside Pennsylvania. That's why I broke down there. 
So when I got when I got my truck back again, I ran a, a load of out to the sky coils. I made a vi I made a video of that load too. Out to the sky coils. If you see me on the thumbnail, I got a gallon jug of water, and I'm drinking it like this. I picked that up. I took that to Laredo. From Laredo, I picked up some some kind of truck parts that I took back to Ohio. Then I picked up another load of the same out to the sky coils to get back to Laredo. Then I picked up something else. Can't remember what. Can't forget what it was. It was something that took me home because it was time for home time. It was something that took me home. I can't remember what it was. Can't remember. But I ended up going home. And when I went home that time, that was it. That was it. I had enough. I ended up going to Hornady. That's the story how I went to Hornady. Because my truck kept breaking down and melting. And I had enough. So, y'all, hey, I want y'all to finish watching that video. I ain't talking about nothing. Bunch of dumb stuff. It ain't really nothing special, but... Y'all got majority of the video right now. So, hey, Flatbed Gang. Flatbed Gang. Y'all know I changed my name now. Big Snow Trucker. But I still say Flatbed Gang. Woo! Y'all see that positivity in that video? Y'all see it? Hey, glad y'all still rocking with me, man. Glad y'all still rocking with me. Hey, man, make sure y'all share this video, man. Share this video. Get the word out. Hey, I want y'all to hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on Snapchat. If you're on my Facebook group, Flatbed Gang on Facebook, I want y'all to know that's a pretty cool group, man. It's got like 8,000 members right now. A lot, lot of cool people in there. A lot of cool people, man. We just have fun. We do loads. The weekend comes. We turn up. Everybody shows off what they're drinking and all this and that. I know a lot of y'all that watch me probably already in the group, but... For y'all that's not in the group, just hey, the link is in the description. Just just hit me up, man. I'm out. This is my last. This is my last load on this dedicated account too. This is it right here. I told my dispatcher tomorrow, like, hey, find me something else. I'm, I'm getting up out of here. I've been staying at this loves three nights in a row. I'm ready to go. They ain't got nothing here but Bojangles. I'm ready to go. I need to get back on 95. Back to the Carolinas. Nothing's finer. Flatbed gang, man. Big Snow Trucker. Still the same person. Big Snow Trucker. I'm out.